And again, my name is Nefertiti, and I graduated from UNCG in 2014, and I went for media studies and a minor in communications. Uh, my concentration was journalism, um, and I am now currently an editor at a content marketing company here in Greensboro called Pace Communications. And let me tell you, getting your degree does not, should not give you entitlement like as to say, oh, I got my degree, I deserve this job. It's like, you have to work hard. And so all of you plan on going to college, I heard like what you wanna do, you have to have a college degree to do the jobs that you wanna do. So I would say like whenever you go to college, be very careful about the classes that you choose. And if you don't feel like, and it's okay to change your mind, because like whenever I first went to college, I majored in biochem because I wanted to be a veterinarian but I quickly realized this is not for me. I didn't like the science as much as I thought I would. So I changed my mind and I majored in psychology. Didn't like that, so I majored in English. I didn't like that, so I switched to media studies and that's what I landed on. Um, so it's, it's okay to change your mind, just don't wait too long and don't be afraid to explore. Um, whether it's in the classroom or outside of the classroom, give yourself permission to just dabble in different things, because you don't know what you like until you try something. Um, and the way I got my job is I interned with them. That's another thing. Let, the, let this year be your year of yes. If an opportunity comes up and you think it's gonna be a good idea, go for it, no matter if you're scared or not, because in order to get to where you're going, you're gonna to have to grow outside of your comfort zone, and that does come with being uncomfortable. But just take being uncomfortable as a sign of growth, because you're not gonna grow, you, you can't go somewhere that you've never been without doing something that you've never done. Um, so I took an internship with Pace Communications. I was an editorial assistant. The internships usually last a semester, but I was so persistent and I loved it so much that I asked to stay on for another semester and they took me on. And I was, I was a junior in college then, so I had one more year before I graduated. Um, so for that, so the internship was August through May, which is you know usually like a school year. And when it ended in May, I was like, what am I gonna do? Because I stayed in Greensboro, because I'm from Keenisville, North Carolina. I don't know if you know where that is. It's a very country rural town in Eastern North Carolina. It's about three hours away. There's like nothing there. Um, even my mom has to travel like an hour to work. Um, so yeah, and another thing, I saw college as an opportunity to get out. Um, so yeah, it was the summertime, I didn't wanna go home, so I took an internship with Enterprise, rent a car, if y'all familiar with that? Mm -hmm. Took an internship with them for the summer. It was really <coughs> good, and then <coughs> once school started back in August, I still interned with them part-time just to make some money on the side, and when I graduated in December, I applied back to Pace so I could like write again, but they didn't have any openings. So I ended up staying with Enterprise because it was like full-time job, straight out of college. It's an opportunity so I, I can at least stay where I want to be and be able to support myself. And I didn't like it. I stayed there for two years and it was fun till it just wasn't fun anymore. And I realized it's like, at least I know I don't like this. That's another thing, try something, and if you don't like it, at least you know you don't like it. You know, and then you can change your mind and do something else. So after the two years, well actually within the first year, I started applying to Pace again, and that's another thing, make connections. Like, when every time you volunteer somewhere or you intern somewhere, make sure you network and you make relationships with people, because a lot of times these days, it's not what you know, it's who you know, and how she was saying the impressions that you can make on people, like make yourself stand out. Be yourself, be that individual that makes an impact on somebody. Don't try to do what someone else is doing because it's not gonna work for you because that wasn't your, you know, your, your natural communication skills. Um, so yeah, I was <coughs> applying to work with Pace for at least a year. I, I was very persistent, like I was not gonna take no for an answer. I went, I interviewed with Pace at least four or five times until I finally got the job that I wanted. Like I was not gonna take no for an answer. And I just got this job in October. So that tells you like, if you want something, do not quit. Just because you gotta know, that just means God has something else for you. You know, it's all about timing. <coughs> 
you can see it and you might feel like, oh, why didn't I get that? Like, that was the perfect opportunity. Like, I'm, I'm perfect for this job. But you can't see in the future, and he can. He can see the obstacles that you might run into, and he knows if it's gonna be for you or not. So just be patient and just don't give up. Um, and as far as videography goes, um, at UNCG, the media studies program is very broad and is very film heavy. Even though my concentration was journalism, I still learned a lot about film and um, broadcasting. So, it, but I like that, even though that wasn't my original intent to like go into film, it, it helped me broaden my horizons and it gave me a new skill set. And how he was saying, use what you have to be different. So if you have a vision and whether you're broadcasting or you're working with the camera, go with it, just go with your gut and plan out how you want your vision to come to life. Um, Cause with the, I haven't like made any, I don't write films or anything, but I have worked with the Greensboro Grasshoppers, you know who that is in Greensboro. Mm -hmm. I um, worked with them and I ran their cameras uh, cause they have about, three or four cameras and they all connect to the scoreboard. So it's like everyone can see what's going on. Um, and with that, it was, I, I, I took ownership <coughs> of that responsibility. Um, I didn't want to take the sh same shots that everyone else was taking, like of the crowd. If I saw something interesting, like across the field, like I would automatically just point my camera towards it and shoot it because I just wanted it to be different, you know? And I stayed with them for about a year and a half um, because I just wanted better for myself after that. But um, besides that, did you all have any questions about, cause I feel like, how old are you guys? Were you like 17. 17. 17. 17. 17. Do you have any like fears like in the future or any concerns? Cause I'm a little closer in age. So I've recently been where you are. So I can tell you now <coughs> what you should worry about or what you should worry about. I have a question. Yes. As far as changing your major in college, like what years would you say those, like the first two years or like what semesters or times of like your college journey would you say is okay to Definitely your freshman year, because I mean, really your, your freshman year, you have that whole year to really feel yourself out. And I would, I would say don't wait no later until your, after your first semester of sophomore year, because once you enter your junior, your senior year, that's when you're really concentrating on your major and your schedule gets shorter because you're only taking maybe three classes and they're all in your major versus taking like the general education courses, like the math and the science and the reading and all that. So definitely um, explore your freshman year and your sophomore year. And if you need help, reach out to somebody that, um, like your guidance counselor or a professor that you just happen to make a connection with, reach out to them to see um, if it will be right for you. Or someone else, like maybe like a family friend or just someone that you know, maybe someone in Leadership Connections that um, is in a field that you may be interested in, make sure you ask them questions. And again, with him with the interviews, um, interviews are not all formal, like going on jobs. Do informational interviews. Because uh, I remember when I was in college for one of my communication courses, we had to do informational interviews. And that is whenever you contact someone that's um, involved in something that you may be interested in, you ask them, hey, I would like to do an interview on you where I'm just asking you a few questions about what you do, what your daily schedule is like, how you got into what you're doing, and that will give you a lot of information and it'll help you figure out if what you're going into is something that you really want to do. And another thing with being a nurse, I remember in high school, I, uh, we had like career day, like sh career shadow day where we picked someone in a profession that we were interested in and we could shadow them for a day and I shadowed a OBGYN, you know what that wow. is, right? Oh. <laughs> I didn't think it would be that real. Like I was actually in the room with them while they were doing exams and immediately after that day, I was like, I want to do this no more. I think I don't want this. I, I do not want to do this no more. So if you have an opportunity to learn about something new that you think you might be interested in, please take it. Don't take stuff for granted. 
take it for what it is and once you figure out if you like it or if you don't, you know, act accordingly or plan accordingly. Do you have any other questions? Was it hard getting to use you? No. Well, what, I don't know how the application process has changed because I started, mind you, I started in 2010. Um, I know I didn't have to write an essay, and that's another thing. Reading is very fundamental. I, with me being an editor, I take that to heart because with everything going digital, a lot of people get their news off of Facebook, or they get off of Twitter, or they get off of Instagram. <laughs> and what I've noticed that these new news links that they have on Facebook are very outdated, and people will post it, and they think it's current, and they. A lot of it's not true. Exactly. Fake news. Fake news. And that's another thing. <laughs> check, check your sources. Whenever you see something, question it. Do not be afraid to question what you know. Always ask questions. Even if you have to go, go do your own research or you have to question the person in front of you that's telling you about something. Seek your own knowledge. Don't just, just take everything you hear with a grain of salt and do your own knowledge so that you know for yourself. Um, but yeah, I don't, you getting into UNCG wasn't hard. For how I chose UNCG, I because my choices came down to UNCG and ECU, um, and I took a tour of both campuses, and that's what helped me make my decision. Um, I just felt more at home and more comfortable at UNCG, because you don't want to make a decision going into college like blindly, because once you get on campus, you may not like it or it might be too big for you, and you might want a more intimate setting where the classes are smaller, and you have more of a chance to have that one-on-one -on -one connection with your professors. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. And taking a tour of a college is free. Mm -hmm. You can go out there anytime, go to their website. I believe they do them like year round, and just schedule a day and ask someone, hey, can you take me out there, or you know, anything like that. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay.